Okay, I'm in another school, and on this job, uh, replacing the rings on an older kiln, you can see that the bottom slab is in very, very good shape. It looks almost new, um, with one notable exception. So folks, see once again what happens when you get a glaze in, drip in the bottom of your kiln, and then you don't take it out right away. It eats its way into the base. Now that can get filled with a refractory, um, but just... If you have an explosion of any sort in your kiln, make sure that you take everything out and clean it all up before you fire it again. So I've got these new rings and there were a couple um, broken parts, broken top pieces, bricks. You can see what happens. Um, this is what happens when people that don't know how to move kilns and handle soft brick, this is what happens when they move things, when they're unloading, when they're unpacking, taking them out of the crates. Um, kiln manufacturers pack their pieces very carefully. They use expand foam around them so they don't move or get jarred. They put expand foam underneath them so the bottom course doesn't get all broken up. And that's what needs to be done. Um, so what I had to do was I had to replace these two bricks right here with brand new ones. It would have been a relatively quick and simple swap out job. Well, comparatively speaking, it's not simple, but it's easier. And I couldn't do that. So what I did was I pulled the pins working around from the transition brick, this is called the transition brick, working all the way around to where I was past the two broken bricks. And then I was able to pull the, I pulled all the pins, I was able to pull the elements out, replace the bricks, and these newer bricks um, that I put in here didn't match the new bricks on the new elements. So I then had to sand it down. And you can see some of the um, debris there at the bottom. I've already cleaned it up on the outside. That's where your shop vac comes in real handy. Get something with at least a good, you know, five horsepower surge on it um, and, and vacuum and vacuum very, very well. You need to do that. And then make sure your bricks are sized right. And again, and I've talked about it before, this front edge needs to match, match right. You can see the difference between the style of the brick. Um, if you look at the inside here, that edge right there where the tip of my finger is, is matching up. That's the groove. That's the element groove. That's what lines up all the way around so you have um, a good alignment.